What's up guys, MCJ here, Matt Collins Jones, back with another video on Power Automate and we're looking at Sherpa actions again and today we're looking at the check out action. If you watched my last video on check in, this is kind of the opposite of that. So when we were manually checking items out, we, um, we were and then to check them in using the flow, we were actually going to check them out using an action in Power Automate. So to talk about the check in, check out actions again, if you've not seen the last video, this is an action where you can manually check out a file and allow you to work on it without other people making changes to it. I kind of mentioned it's a, it's a little bit of a, an archaic or an outdated process uh, these days when you have things like modern collaboration. Uh, again, that's just from my use cases and my, my perspective. Uh, I don't know if loads of other organizations are still using check in and check out, uh, but do let me know in the comments down below if you're still using it and what your use cases are, because I'd be really interested to know. So this action, we're going to check out files, meaning that other people can't make changes to them. Um, after that, we'll show you how to manually check in a file, and I'll also give you a bonus tip on showing uh, the minor and major versions, which I didn't show in the last video. So let's get started. We're in Power Automate here. I've got a manual trigger, because we don't need to pass any information to the flow. We'll click on Add a Step and Add an Action, and we'll search for SharePoint. We'll click on See More on the SharePoint connector, and we'll go down to check out file. So from here, we are requested for three pieces of information. We have site address, library name, and ID. So site address is the SharePoint site address that you want to use it from. So I'm going to hard code in my MTJ site one. You can use an environment variable for this if you want, uh, but in this instance, we're just using this for testing. So we're gonna hard code this value in. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the library name. We have a couple of different document libraries here. So we've got documents and MCJ document library. We'll choose the MCJ document library for our testing purposes. <clears throat> Next, we need an ID of the file. So in the previous video, I kind of mentioned that you can get this from other locations. So you could get this from a trigger. You could get this from like a list action, uh, for instance. What we're going to do is we're going to hard code in a value. So let's take a look at our file for a second. So over our SharePoint site, we have our file here. So we've got two files. We've got citizen dev JPEG and check it out docs. That was the one that we created in our last video and we're gonna use it for this video as well. And this is the one that we want to check out. So there is an ID column in SharePoint, which is the unique identifier for the record. And we've seen, we can see that it's got a unique identifier of 10 here. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our flow and we'll type in 10 here. Again, you can pass this information from a flow, uh, from a, a different action in the flow if you want to. We just gonna show you how this works. And that's all we need. So we will hit publish. Then we'll go to test. We'll manually trigger this, we'll click test. And we'll run the flow. Click done. And we see we've got green ticks all the way down here. So it's good, let's go to our SharePoint site. And we'll refresh it. And now we can see that our file is checked out. So we can denote this by the little red circle with an arrow in it. And you can actually see the little pop up pop up and say, if I don't move my mouse, you've checked this item out so other people cannot edit, edit it, check it in or discard the changes. So what that's done is that's checked out the file. So now other people can't use this. So let's manually check this in. So you know, check it in here, or you can use the, the three dots in order to check in. And then it gives us these actions, these, these options. So check in, check out docs. Um, we can um, upgrade upgrade to a minor version, so version 1.2, so it's currently at version 1.1. We can upgrade it to a major version, meaning that we published and other people will be able to access this document and see that published version. And we also have overwrite the current minor version of version 1.1. Uh, 1 .1. I will we'll upgrade it to a, ver a minor version and we'll say manually checked in. I will choose check in. And then we can see that's popped up there into the check-in comments. And if we go down to our version history, we can see the same thing here. So it's version 1.2 and we can see manually checked in. So that's what this action does is it checks out a file. So it may be a case that you want to check out a file, send it to someone for some revisions, they send it back and you have another flow that picks that up and then manually check and then checks it in via the flow with any comments that you want. Now, when I was testing this, um, I couldn't actually see the the, main, the minor versions. I could see all the major versions, but I couldn't see the minor versions. So one of the things that I needed to do for my SharePoint library was I actually had to configure the versioning settings on this. So we'll show you that quickly. 
So if you go up to your cog, and I'm in a library, but this also works in lists as well. So I'm into library settings and not list settings. Choose library settings, choose more library settings. And then there's an option here that says versioning settings. So choose that one. And by default, it was just set to create major versions only. Um, you can select this to non-versioning, which then makes the checking check out um, you know, a, a little bit weird. Um, but, but I changed it from create major versions to create major and minor versions. And you can configure the, the number of major versions. I believe 511 is the maximum you can have. Um, so it's going to, um, so it just defaults to 500 uh, before you need to then publish it as a, as a major version. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what I need to set. So I, I did that, I clicked OK and went back to my SharePoint library and then all was good again. So there you go. That is uh, checkout file. So between checking and checkout, you've got both the actions there with two videos showing you how both these things work. So you can check out how these things uh, how these things work and how um, how to use them. If, I hope this is useful. Um, do you still use check in check out um, in SharePoint? I would re really be interested to know what your use cases are and if you do still have use cases for them, are you going to be using this action to automate any of those processes? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like it and share it with a friend, that'd be really appreciative uh, because I, I really need uh, to grow this channel more. Um, so any sharing and any liking and subscribing is, is really, really helpful for the channel. Uh, and I hope this is useful and I will see you next time.